Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix FIFA 23 not launching on PC uh, or won't opening. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, what you need to do here, you need to open up Steam or EA app or uh, Epic Games, basically where your game, where you got the game. For me, I got on EA. And then you need to repair your files. Uh, so my account, a different account is... Uh, uh, basically I logged in with a different account so there is no EA uh, there is no FIFA so but it really doesn't matter same the process same process click on the install games go to manage and then repair and then it will take a couple of minutes until um, files will be checked and if you have some corrupted files that need to be fixed um, it will fix your files and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and still if the problem persists then you need to do uh, other steps so you can then here select the FIFA manage and then um, open up a game files but uh, for me I know where is my game files so I just need to go to my computer disk C usually is on program files and then EA games FIFA and then you need to look for a FIFA um, exe file and then right click on it uh, select properties and then compatibility and make sure to run as administrator same thing with the trial and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and still if the problem persists and the game is not launching then you need to allow fifa 23 uh, through windows defender firewall and to do so super easy you need to just write windows defender firewall and then here you need to press allow an app or feature then change settings and then here should be FIFA and you need to select on private and public and um, save changes. And if for some reason you don't see FIFA here, you need to add it manually. So you need to allow another app. Then you get this window here, then press browse. Then you need to go to desktop, uh, disk C, uh, program files, EA games, FIFA. And then here should be exe file and you need to add it here right and then make sure that these two options are selected and save the changes and then you need to look if the problem persists uh, or not and still if the problem persists uh, what you need to do here next if you are having the, this problem you need to update your operating system and your gpu drivers and to update your operating system you just need to go to settings then you need to go to windows update and then you need to check for updates and if there is an update for you that you need to download and install please do so and then restart your computer and then you need to look if the problem persists or not same thing with the gpu drivers depending on what gpu you're using nvidia or emd radio or other there is separate apps to that i'm using nvidia so there is an app geforce experience you can download completely for free and then you just need to go to drivers and check for updates and if you don't have any apps related to your GPU, uh, there is a device manager. And simply you need to go to uh, display adapters, right click on your GPU, update driver and search automatically for drivers. And if, they, if there is drivers that you need to download and install, please do so. Restart your computer and the problem should be fixed. Right, so that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.